Welcome to Dunham Massey, one of Cheshire's grandest estates and a remarkable slice of English heritage. Built in the Georgian era and expanded over centuries, this estate isn't just beautiful, it's filled with stories of intrigue, power and global connections. Today, we'll explore Dunham Massey's fascinating history, from its medieval roots to its role as a World War I hospital, and even its connection to an Ethiopian emperor, Haile Selassie. Our journey begins in the 12th century, when the Massey family established Dunham Massey as a fortress. Over time, the fortress evolved into a grand estate, and by the 17th century it had passed to the Booth family, influential landowners in Cheshire. When Mary Booth, the daughter of the estate's then owner, married George Grey, the 5th Earl of Stamford, the property came under the stewardship of the Grey family, marking the beginning of a new chapter in Dunham Massey's legacy. The Grey family would eventually transform Dunham Massey from a functional residence into a grand Georgian mansion. They added the beautiful gardens, expanded the stables, and amassed an impressive art collection. But while the Greys appeared prosperous, their lives weren't without hardship, political entanglements and personal tragedies. During the First World War, Dunham Massey took on a new role, quite unlike anything it had seen before. Penelope Gray, Lady Stamford, transformed the estate into the Stamford Military Hospital. For nearly four years, injured soldiers from the front lines found sanctuary here. Lady Stamford was personally involved in the day-to-day -day running of the hospital, along with her daughter, Lady Jane Gray. Together they tended to the physical and emotional wounds of soldiers, many of whom were boys not even out of their teens. The estate's grand rooms were converted into wards, with rows of beds where soldiers could recuperate. But Lady Stamford ensured that Dunham Massey offered more than just medical care. She believed in the importance of mental recovery and provided books, games and outings in the estate's gardens.
After World War I, Dunham Massey returned to a quieter life, but by the 1930s, the estate would once again be linked to historical events on a global scale. At this time, the world was witnessing political unrest across Europe and Africa, and this brings us to a particularly unique moment in Dunham Massey's history, its connection to Haile Selassie, Emperor of Ethiopia. Haile Selassie, born Tafari Makonan, rose to power in the early 20th century and quickly established himself as a reformist leader, advancing education, modernization, and diplomatic ties with the West. However, in 1935, Mussolini's Italy invaded Ethiopia in an attempt to colonize it. With his forces overpowered, Haile Selassie fled to England, where he sought refuge and international support. While Haile Selassie's main residence during his exile was in Bath, it's known that he spent time at estates like Dunham Massey, hosted by prominent English families sympathetic to his plight. The Grey family, who managed the estate at that time, were part of a network of British nobility who extended support to Selassie during his exile. It was here in England that Selassie launched his appeals to the League of Nations, passionately calling for support against Mussolini's occupation. Although he never officially resided at Dunham Massey, the estate symbolizes the wider British support he received, with the Greys contributing to his network. Haile Selassie's efforts eventually paid off. After years of lobbying, he regained control of Ethiopia in 1941, a powerful reminder of resilience against oppression.
After World War II, Dunham Massey gradually transitioned from a private residence to a public treasure. In 1976, the last Earl of Stamford left Dunham Massey to the National Trust, ensuring its preservation for generations to come. Today, visitors to Dunham Massey can see the stunning Georgian architecture, stroll through the deer park, and explore the rooms once used as hospital wards during World War I. The estate's long history, stretching from medieval roots to its connection to an Ethiopian emperor, makes Dunham Massey an exceptional piece of living history. Dunham Massey stands as a testament to the power of heritage and remembrance. From its centuries-old walls to its tranquil gardens, every corner of this estate tells a story. Stories of nobility, war, refuge and international solidarity. It's a place where the past comes alive and reminds us of the resilience of the human spirit. So next time you find yourself in Cheshire, take a moment to wander through Dunham Massey. You'll not only be visiting a historic house, but stepping into the echoes of history itself.